gonna say that just leads us exactly to the backdrop that you have there uh and and help us understand what bounce to zero you have this amazing backdrop uh bounce to zero with u equals u um i would love for you to explain to our viewers what the city of new orleans is doing with bounce to zero what your office has been doing with bounce to zero explain what bounce means to people and what u equals u is because i think the work you guys are doing is incredible yeah so um our, in our efforts to really address um, ending the HIV epidemic and moving the needle, um, we have um, launched the Bounce to Zero campaign. And Bounce to Zero is uh, locally developed um, by the community um, and is paying homage to you know, Bounce culture in, here in New Orleans. And Bounce to Zero is getting to zero new cases, um, zero stigma. Um, you know, there's a lot of zeros. and. But and that is to help end the HIV epidemic. And with that effort, you know, we have a website that people can go to, which is bounce to zero.com. And on that website, um, you can sign the pledge to end HIV stigma. And that means using people's first language. Um, look for resources that are available. So you can put in a zip code and find uh, where you know you can access services by parish, by counties. Um and if you're from the area, we do have a link that goes to, you know, outside of the New Orleans metro area. We also have developed um, in, uh, what's called centralized linkage. Um, and we have um, testimonial videos on there. And centralized linkage is about regardless of where you test positive for HIV or um, have fallen out of care and you want to get um, linked to care, you can call the number. Um, and get linked to care. And we will link you to all the different um, services that we fund, the service providers that we fund. Um, so with Bounce to Zero, it is about also um, addressing stigma. Um, and so we have information about PrEP um, and, you know, pre-exposure prophylaxis, but also PEP. So in, you know, some people don't know that um, you need to um, see a doctor, get an injection, you know, PEP medication within 72 hours. Um, so we have that resource on the website. And then addressing stigma, in, and it's, uh, we have videos that we've developed coming from perspectives of um, um, an African American woman talking about HIV and how um, it's important to get in care. Um, we have videos about uh, of a couple, um, one living with HIV and one without, talking about how you can have a normal life, um, you know, living with HIV, and that women can have babies, um, women living with HIV can have babies that are HIV negative. So it's just a lot of information that I think is presented in a helpful manner that is very clear, short, and concise. Because I know everyone's busy and we don't always have the time, um, but you know, I. I really recommend people going to the website, just looking through, and and if there's anything else that needs to be on it, please let us know. Fatsana, one of the things that that we know uh, that is incredibly important is uh, U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable. So we know that bringing people's viral loads to undetectable levels just through daily medication use, or uh, can, can you bring your viral load to undetectable levels? And once you're undetectable, you're untransmittable. So viral suppression uh, for us is so important for us to understand. Does does your office follow viral suppressions within uh, the um, the affected metropolitan area, the EMA? And if so, does it break it down so that we can see if disparities exist within uh, different populations with respect to viral suppression? Yes, most definitely. Um, we do follow viral suppression across different subpopulations. And this is especially important because you can see the disparities among each um, subpopulation. Um, so I have up uh, virus suppression across the populations, and this is for our metro area for calendar year 2022. You'll see on the graph that um, in the New Orleans metro area, the pink column represents virus suppression overall, and the red column represents virus suppression among individuals who are in care. So for our metro area, it's 69% overall. So that's including people who are living with HIV, who have not um, um, gone into care. Um, they've had at least one primary care visit. And 
if they uh, are linked to care, we see that uh, the virus suppression increases to 88%. And you see this, when you look at across the populations, you see that um, among incarcerated populations, it's at 67%, right, among people who are linked to care. Um, for youth, it's 81%. For black men, it's eighty six percent. But when you compare that to um, white population, subpopulation, it's ninety three percent. So you see the significant disparities um, among the subpopulations, and that's why it is important that we review this information and tailor our services to uh, assist different subpopulations. And that's why that's part great. of one of the things that we also work on is making sure that, you know, when we are providing services, um, while the goal is to address um, Black MSM, um, the messages that we send out um, is targeting everyone because we want to make a HIV conversation a normal conversation and um, have information for people to be able to review and um refer back to because everyone is affected yeah, this, by HIV. 100%. This is a real tremendous slide. Uh, and I know that uh, one of the things that we'll we'll talk about next here is talking about stigma, but there's no question that here we see the disparities that exist not only between populations, but within populations from uh, those that are within care and those that are not in care uh, as well. And this also uh, really drives home the importance of making sure that linkage to care is really part of, of all of these services that, that are provided. And this is why um, you, that there is a central linkage to care core coordinator that has kind of come out of some of the work that you guys have been doing so that, like you said, no matter where you are in these eight parishes, uh, there is somebody that can make sure that they can get you into care into one of the clinics or facilities that are providing comprehensive HIV care. Fatsan Chantala is the uh, director of Ryan White Services and Resources, a division of New Orleans Health Department. Her office provides funding and resources to eight parishes of Southeast Louisiana, providing federal dollars uh, to people living with HIV, as well as to their providers uh, that provide their health care and case managers that help manage uh, their care. Fatsana, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, thank you to Urban Health today for allowing us uh, to talk a bit about HIV disparities. Thank you.